When the Cavs beat the Warriors in 2016, the question was, what do we need to do to shut down LeBron James? Now that the Lakers have won the 2020 title, the question is, what do teams need to do to shut down LeBron James, Anthony Davis, and the Lakers? Salutations, sports fans. Thanks for checking in with us once again here at The Fumble. I'm your girl, Jackie Ray. Make sure you follow me on all things social media at JRayTheFanatic. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Okay, the new NBA season is literally upon us, especially if the NBA wants to start the season before Christmas Day. If they do that, the question really isn't how can teams beat the Lakers. It will probably be how can we make sure we are not plagued with injuries and how do we build in longer load management times for our top athletes. After you do that, you can figure out what you need to do to contend with the Lakers. But the question in my mind is, is that really a fair question? This season saw a league without Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving with the Nets. Now, while I think this is going to be an epic ego clash that we all will get a kick out of watching, we really just don't know. And we can't overlook the Warriors with a healthy Clay, a healthy Steph, but if we are lucky, the days of the small ball might be fading away. If you ask me, that's a good thing because I am not a fan of this tennis match, run, pull up and shoot type basketball we get with small ball. And the Lakers proved that going big is not the bad idea people made it out to be. The Lakers added the size of LeBron James and Anthony Davis with the addition of JaVale McGee and Dwight Howard. And according to Cleaning the Glass, 60% of Davis's 2,125 minutes came at the power forward spot. Plus, Lakers' version of small ball wasn't really all that small. It meant AD was at center and LeBron James was at the power forward spot. People always copy what works, so you can bet going big will probably be mimicked throughout the league. But should it be? Although the Clippers got bested by a smaller Denver Nuggets, they did beat the Lakers two out of the four times those two teams met. They probably don't need to do much more than fix a few attitudes and, as Kawhi is clamoring for, find a point guard. The Nuggets don't need to do much either. No one can deny how well they played, and as they grow and mature together, they will be a force to be reckoned with. But the key is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The Nuggets really should bring back Millsap and Plumlee during the offseason and just get to work. If they ship him off, it might be great, but then it might not. You don't need that headache. The biggest question will probably be for the team that had the best record in the NBA going into the bubble, but looked horrible during the playoffs. Although I don't think he deserved it, if you have two-time MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo and look like the rookie team during the playoffs, there's a problem. They desperately need to end any and all trade rumors regarding Giannis, find another playmaker, and get back to the drawing board. But here we are again, full circle. Do not think that the Warriors are not somewhere right now plotting and scheming on how they can stop King James. The last time they were on this mission, they added Kevin Durant to a pretty healthy squad, but that isn't the case this time. I've said it before and I'll say it over and over again. Coming back from an injury is not just a physical thing, it's also a mental thing. Sure, both Clay, Steph, and even Draymond have had plenty of time to get their physical together, but they haven't done that with their team, not really anyway. And if we come back as quick as Adam Silver wants, that might be too quick to get back into the strong swing of things. Meanwhile, LeBron James is out here proving that age really ain't nothing but a number. Who do the Warriors have who can guard him or AD? No one. So that means they have to dive into the open market. And let's not forget, Rajon is testing the open market, AD's contract still needs to be done. The Lakers have a lot of moving pieces that they need to figure out before they can be sure they can get the same success next season. But that goes for everybody. There are pieces that every single team needs to consider before we start next season. My concern is this immediate start date isn't giving teams time to do that. But do you think I'm wrong? Do you think teams will have enough time to get everything worked out if we start before Christmas? And what do you think your team needs to do to be a contender next season? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, I'm Jackie Ray. Thanks for watching The Fumble and we'll see you next time.